Eutrophication by kscience.com. This here is some farmland next to a lake. These are underwater plants. And these are fish that live in the lake. This here is a tractor that sprays the fields with fertilizer. And when it rains, the fertilizer can be washed into the lake. So the fertilizer in this case is going to be nitrates. And these nitrates are going to enter the lake. So as you can see here, the algae that is on the lake surface is going to grow really rapidly due to the fertilizer. And this is going to grow and sit on the surface of the lake. As you can see here in this picture, algae is covering vast areas of the lake. And we call this an algal bloom, an algal bloom that covers the lake. So this algal bloom that covers the lake is going to prevent sunlight from entering beneath the water's surface. So this causes the sunlight to not be able to enter beneath the surface of the water. So if the plants don't receive sunlight, and underwater plants, they require photosynthesis to take place in their chloroplasts to survive. So there's no light, they can't photosynthesize. So if the plants don't receive sunlight, and they can't photosynthesize, which would remove carbon dioxide from the water and add oxygen to the water because oxygen is a byproduct of photosynthesis. Therefore, there is less oxygen being released into the water. The oxygen is vital to the survival of all the living organisms in the lake. So if the plants don't receive the sunlight, there is less photosynthesis. Therefore, there is less oxygen being released into the water which means the oxygen concentration in the water decreases. Not being able to photosynthesize and there being less photosynthesis in the plants. This means that the plants are going to die, which means that there's going to be less oxygen being supplied to the water of the lake. So now the plants are dead and oxygen levels are decreasing in the lake over time. This leads to a decrease in other organisms in the lake. This is because there is less oxygen. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. These bacteria are called decomposers. They're going to decay the dead plant material. They're going to decay the dead plant material. And by doing so, these decomposers are going to increase in numbers. So the bacteria are going to decay the dead plant material and use the dead plant material as an energy source for respiration. And they're going to use oxygen that is dissolved in the water for respiration. This is going to further decrease the oxygen levels in the water. So if oxygen levels decrease below a certain point, the fish won't be able to survive because they need oxygen dissolved in the water to survive. So remember, due to too much fertilizer entering a lake, this can cause an algal bloom, preventing sunlight from entering the water. This causes plants to die, which then causes there to be a decrease in oxygen levels in the lake. And due to dead plant material in the lake, that's going to increase the number of bacteria called decomposers that are going to decay the dead plant material, therefore using more of the oxygen in the water for respiration. And if the oxygen concentration of the water is too low, this is going to cause the fish to die. So as you can see here, the fish are going to die. This is due to the low oxygen levels in the water. So due to the low oxygen concentration, the fish die. This is the process of eutrophication. So eutrophication is when there is an excess of nutrients in the water due to fertilizer normally, which leads to an increased algal growth. 
which causes there to be an oxygen depletion and the eventual death of organisms living in the water. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Press pause to practice using those key words. The answers will follow. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. And if you're stuck, just rewatch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes.